Okay, now we've got that same assembly, 37 by 12 and a half by 17 LT on a Road Force Elite Balancer use, using a flange plate kit so we don't scratch the customer's rim. And we're going to see how this one, we've scraped the weights off already. We tell it, we've already inflated it to 40 pounds, so we tested. The laser scans the profile of the rim, also measures the rim runout at the same time. It's a vision technology. And our load roller comes down and puts up to 1,250 pounds of force on it. It's already given us our balance. It's gonna give, now it's gonna give us what our road force reading is. So, for this assembly, this is better than I would have ever, I would never put money, it would have come down that, it would be that low without having to match mount it. So, two pounds of road force, which means that line is the high spot of the tire or the hard spot. Every time that hits the surface of the pavement and a revolution, it's uh, an equivalent of two pounds. Normally, I think the other ones we did, we had 17, we had one in the 20s. Um, the, one, the worst one was in the 40s, and that's gonna be the spare. But uh, this one's gonna be our driver's side front tire. So, and that tells us exactly where our weight placement needs to be. And then we're good to go. So I'm gonna put these weights on. So now we place the weights dead center. And then we're gonna do a check spin. Since we don't have to match mount it because the road force is already acceptable. And we're balanced. So that's as, that's as smooth as that tire is gonna ride considering the tread pattern and everything. So again, this is a Hunter Road Force Elite.